what is going on you guys and welcome back to the channel now as you can see you got a little man over here Hi. and today we got a special little fishing challenge that we're going to be doing today and we're going to be fishing these little gulp baits now i got three of them here i got one that's earthworms i got one that's maggots and i got the minnow in green shiner color so the goal for today is to try to catch at least one fish off of each of these now if we both can catch one fish off of each of them in a total of six fish that will be great so we're going to go ahead and rig these up which one do you want to start out with Ooh, this the minnow mm -hmm. all right guys he's going to start out with the minnow i think i'm going to start out with the earthworm and we're just going to see what all we can do so you guys stay tuned all right you guys all right so i got the little night crawler on these things reek good lord and he's got this little minnow bring it right over here he's gonna start out with that little minnow it's a little green shiner this thing reeks too it's different scents but they both still really stink so we're gonna go ahead and see what all we can catch and uh let's make it happen there you go leave it right there don't hesitate when you see that thing go under you get him he's got one folks already get him in here oh man you got a nice bluegill good job <laughs> Wow, look at that, off the minnow. Hold on, let me reel mine in. Huh. Jay. Show the, show the camera. Dang, already? That was like 30 or 40 seconds. Good lord, was look at- that 30 or 40 seconds? Look at that bluegill. Yeah, that happened less than a minute, guys. Off the, off the little minnow. We're using these spear point hooks right here. Look at that. Yes, sir. Well, look at that nice little bluegill he's got yes sir. so that's one for the minute you guys he's up on he's up one on me ha, so that's ha. awesome stuff you want to hold him ow he pricked me <laughs> there you go all right buddy good job mm. all right so he's one up on me guys one for the minnow now it's my turn to try to catch one off the um minnow off the earthworm he's going to start switching what do you want to fish now a, worm. a worm mm -hmm. so we're both going to be fishing worms you guys stay tuned come on fishy come on i saw you go under oh you already got one on Hi. he's already chasing it oh i got one come on take it under come on get him hunter get him Dude. got one Oh, oh, he got one. Oh. All right. Got me a little bluegill off the earthworm. So I'm going to go ahead and try to fish with the minnow. All right, there you go, you guys. I got a small little bluegill. Going to go ahead and release him. Get him. Can you take my See you later, buddy. Thanks for the bite. Oh, you can take my worm. Throw it on back out there. Oh, buddy. They are tearing these baits up, guys. It's easy now. So it's safe to say that these little Berkeley baits, to be fake baits, they're working pretty damn good. All right, guys, I got me a little minnow tied on. I've caught one off the earthworm. He's caught one off the minnow so far, so he's trying to catch one off the earthworm. I'm trying to catch one off the minnow. And if we both can do that, then we're going ahead and both fish the maggot. Got one off the minnow, guys. Oh, it's a nice little pumpkin seed. Look how beautiful that pumpkin seed is. Look how beautiful that pumpkin seed is. Ain't that nice? So I've caught one off the minnow and one off the earthworm. I'm about to catch it. I'm about to use the maggot. Now Hunter still has one more to catch off the earthworm, right? All right. So you guys stay tuned guys another look at this beautiful pumpkin seed right there a lot of blue right up here by the gills and stuff so we're gonna go ahead and release them 
Now I got one more fish to catch off the maggot. He's got two more fish to catch us. This is absolutely fun, so you gotta stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wait for him to catch his second fish and we're both gonna be fishing the maggot after with that. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Come on, fishy. But yeah, guys, I highly recommend these baits if you wanna put them in your bug out bag or you know just have them in the back of the vehicle. These things are biodegradable. They're fake, fake baits, as y'all can see. But they're excellent little baits, like I said, to put in your bug out bag, keep it in your uh, little fishing tackle if you wanted to catch some pan fish really fast and reliable. So hopefully it won't take too much longer and he'll have one hooked up. Hi. Get them all the way in, buddy. All right, you guys. Show the camera. You show them. I ain't showing them nothing. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Outdoor boy. Look at that, folks. Look at that. Check it out. Check it out. Nice little bluegill off the earthworm. So you know what that means. We're both going to be fishing the maggot. We got two more fish to catch. One apiece. Let's make it happen. You guys stay tuned. Here. Four fish. You want to go ahead and release them? Hold on. Hold this. Throw him straight on out there. Walk him over there. Well, don't don't eat him. Be gentle with him now. All right, got a nice little release on that guy. All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and rig up a maggot, and we're gonna see what that can do. So so far, the earthworms have done really good, and so has the minnow. Let's see how this maggot's gonna do. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open these bad boys up. Oh Lord, give it a whiff, Junior. Mm. Yeah, these things stink. So this is what they look like, guys. Little white maggots, which of course they're fake. So it's probably gonna take maybe two or three of them to actually put on the hook, so. That stinks. We're gonna go, it does stink. We're gonna go ahead and rig these up. And we're gonna see what they can do. All right, you guys. It's really hot out here today, ain't it, buddy? Mm -hmm. It's really hot out here. So here you go. I got three on mine and I got three on his. In actual reality, guys, you could probably get away with one a piece and that whole jar is going to last you forever, for real. So let's go ahead and see if we can catch two more. All right, guys, this is a mega challenge. I'll we'll see if you can catch one first. He thinks it's him. Oh, it has one on there a little. Real, you're slacking a bit. Alright, oh, right there, right there, right there. And you know, you guys, I know, I know the fish are laying right up underneath these trees in the shade. It's a really hot day out today. And that's normally where they like to lay up, especially when it gets this hot. But yeah, they're not even trying to come after the, the maggot whatsoever. And, I, and if it keeps up like this for a little while, I might go ahead and test that theory and throw on another minnow and just see if I can get a bite. It's really interesting though, because I, I kind of figured that they, all three would work exactly the same. But no, this has actually been a learning experience. Because they smell the same. They do, they smell exactly the same. That means they get them the same. Guys, drop me a comment down below if you've ever used these, the Berkeley Gulp little fake baits like I'm using. Let me know if you've had any luck on it. There's a few different ones that I like to try. If you like to see me try them, drop me a comment down below. We got, I think they got corn and a little crappy, crappy bites. They're like little fish bites. So let me know if you guys want to see me try that. But yeah, definitely let me know if you've used these baits before and if you've had any luck with them. You know what, guys? I'm really starting to thank the fish signal to all their buddies. And they're like, that's not real. Don't go after it. For some reason, I'm not getting any bites off the minnow either. Now that we've caught a few off of them. Uh. Alright, guys. It does not seem like they are interested with the uh, 
maggots whatsoever. I don't know if it's the color, the texture. I don't know what it is. I, it can't be the scent because, like I said, they all pretty much smell the same. But I can't catch anything off of them. Little man can't catch anything off of them. So I'm going to try to uh, switch up to the, the uh, earthworm. I'm going to try that one more time. And hopefully between the both of us, we can at least catch one more. I got one on the earth earthworm already, guys. So that's what I think it is. It could possibly be the color. I'm not sure why they're not biting the maggots, but I just threw this out here. And they're biting this earthworm like crazy. They just hasn't uh they haven't fully dedicated to taking the bobber all the way under. He might have taken the worm. Nope, worm's still on there. I'm really starting to thank you guys that the fish are starting to catch on that this bait is not the real deal because it's like they're coming at it they're biting it and they're not committing like they did when we first started using them now as far as the minnows and the earthworms they have worked for us the, the maggots we haven't even got a single bite off the maggots I mean other than the little ones that was right here that was just nipping at it but they won't committing to it at all. It's not really It also place. might have something to do with the time of day and they just stop biting. Yeah. All right, you guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up there. We're not getting any more bites, but I got to say the little minnow right here, they did excellent. And so did these earthworms right here. No luck on the maggot, but let me know if you guys have ever used these things, if you've had any luck with them. And let me know if there's any other ones like the, the crappy bites or the little corn. Let me know if you guys want to see something like that. Me and him will come down here and fish them. But um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And subscribe. And drop a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Yeet.